<sighs> Welcome back, ladies and germs. We are fully charged and we're ready to go. I foresaw some of the events of last episode and I made sure to save at this spot here. Yes, Lag City as we remember it. Crash City. Quake2.exe, a stop working city. And we're gonna go hoot around. <laughs> and get down. I don't know what pushing that button did, but I pushed it. Oh, okay. Alright, no, that's fine. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I nearly crapped myself. That is not... Ah! <laughs> that would never happen today. Look at him go. Plink. 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 Oh, come on. You know, I blew someone away the other day by making what they decided was a really deep comment. Because um, my sister was saying that, uh, you know, all of her friends are getting married and she's sad that she's not getting married too and I was like, you know, marriage isn't all is all cracked up as it's sounds like and it was meant to be. Take Shrek for example. He got married in the first movie and then he spent the next three movies after that contemplating if the decision he made was the right one or not. So you know. It's possible, Jesus Christ, to be happy by yourself without needing someone to be attached to you. Oh, Jesus Christ. That guy's attached to me. He wanted to hug me as soon as I came out the door. See ya. Okay, I probably don't want to fall. Oh, a button. Button. I cannot push the button. Oh, I was here already. It's when that thing said the door is opened elsewhere. Um, okay, I guess I gotta go here. Go across. You know, now that I think of it, Shrek is kind of a fucked up movie. Because he falls in love with Princess Fiona. She gets all upset at him because she thinks that she won't, that he won't love her if he finds out that he turns, that she turns into a monster. And you know that they, they never specifically use the word ogre, but everyone knows that you know she turns into an ogre. That's her thing. That she, she's like, where ogre? But um, oh, was that a secret? Okay, let's go down here. But you know he doesn't fall in love with her because he's a, because she, she becomes an ogre. He falls in love with her for her personality. So regardless of the fact she changes into a different thing or not, shouldn't make a difference on his feelings for her. So the fact that she does decide to stay as an ogre so she can be in a relationship for him says some bad things about her character because it means that she feels like she has to be subservient to a male. She's like, oh, well, he'll only love me if I look like an ogre, if I look like how he looks like, instead of just, you know, she doesn't ask him. That's the thing. Is, you know, it's a simple thing, it's based on communication, and she just doesn't do it. Why is that, Princess Fiona? What's your fucking deal, huh? It's heavy shit, man. Let's get back to the game, obviously. Locator updated. Same locator updated shit. Same fucking... <laughs> friendly fire. He's killing his teammates. He just killed that guy right there. Hi, oh, you're a retard, bro. Get your face. It really kind of irks me that my best long distance weapon is a stupid fucking flare gun. 
<laughs> Hello. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I have 200 bullets. Alright, I'll just gun them down. Eat lead. Yes, I've turned them into a fine Parmesan cheese. Look at that. Maybe I only got 40 bullets knife now. Oh, problem solved. Bullets, 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 bullets. Okay, I remember this. Um, this a lot of doors being opened elsewhere. But we're gonna hunt on top of some crates and we're gonna find out exactly what to do. Okay, what did I do? Did I open a door? Oh, yes, I did. I heard a trespasser guy. I don't know why this is causing so much stress and concentration. Collect the four cubes to restore the... Oh my god. Flashbacks. You know, I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't... Oh, hello, Mr. Chain Gun. Oh, that guy just uppercutted me like a fucking Mortal Kombat character. I wouldn't be playing this game if I didn't enjoy it. And there's a lot of, lo lot of fun things about it. Unfortunately, one of those things is not warning around and collecting fucking power cubes and shit. That shit is not fun. Look at me, I'm fucking jumping around on fucking boxes. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Is there a... Oh, okay. Okay, there's an elevator. Okay, pick up the cube and then the power goes out. Beautiful. You know, I said on my first episode that I did this because uh, I was inspired by, oh Jesus, by people like uh, PewDiePie and Game Grumps and Markiplier. And uh, yeah, it's partially true, you know, I, I really love PewDiePie and, uh, and I'm a huge fan of Game Grumps, I watch him every day. But, um, I kind of lied about the whole Markiplier thing. I kind of just, I don't know, it was almost like a slip of the tongue. He's kind of like, for me, one of those YouTubers that I watch. Uh, only when I can't find content from another one. Like, I was trying to watch uh, Spooky's House of Jump Scares because, um, I saw James and Mike play it on a day. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty cute. That's pretty interesting. It's a very uh, unique concept. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get, them, get to watch them finish the game. So I looked it up and I ended up finding his finding his playthrough of it where he pretty much played every single stage. That piece of garbage. So you know, he's he, I, I guess the analogy I'm trying to make is that Markiplier is that cheap hooker that you go to when you don't have enough money. You really just gotta get what you want. And uh I hope he never watches this episode. So that when I do ever get to meet him. I never have to explain why the fuck I said that. But, if he does, even better, because then I'll feel honored for having someone that I emulate acknowledge me, because, you know, that's all I'm really looking for, is a little bit of... There's a little bit of, hey, you know, I know you exist. What the hell am I doing? Can I jump down there? Okay, let's find out. We're gonna be smart, we're gonna save. And we're gonna go. Alright. I'm not dead. And there's a button down here, too. Fantastic. We solved the murder case. Oh, and there's the other power cube. Alright. Right on. That would be three of four. Oh, jeez. That guy got fucked up. And you know, for a 1996 game, there's a lot of effort put into the detail of this, like... Like, that character model, there's a lot going on with the artistry on it. I mean, unfortunately, they didn't... This is back in the day when 
the polygon uh, value was quite low, so everything has a kind of boxy look to it, but they uh, kind of tried to make up for it by having really interesting and detailed textures. And I fucking god damn it. Okay, can I go through this door now? This door is opened elsewhere. Oh no. No. Oh, fuck. Maybe maybe there's another door. And there's no map. Okay, that's that's okay. We'll just go back the way we came. Go back into this vent, got the power cube, went into the air vent, came over here, came out this door. Oops, wasted a bullet. Oh, okay. So given that there's the fact there's an asshole over there shooting at me with his fucking chain gun, we gotta get up there somehow. And voila, there's a ladder. Great. Solve the problem. All I gotta do is try. Wow, these stronger. They got some feng shui. Look at all the color organization here. All the red boxes here, all the brown boxes here, all the green boxes here. Your organs, they are all over the floor. Don't jump scare me, fucking asshole. Okay, I don't want to waste my ammo for that, so let's just go back to this bastard. Oh, jeez. I'm not a trespasser. I'm, I'm just... I just... I, I lost my contacts. I'm looking for my contacts. Are my contacts here? Hello? Are we gonna be able to find the red, red power cube, the number four power cube before the end of this episode? Let's hold the shift key and find out. Go 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 go. We're gonna find that power cube. We just went in a circle. That's okay. Power cube is it down here? Power cube. Power cube is it inside your head, sir. Nope. Save it. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining me for episode 6. Uh, um, I hope you're enjoying whatever the hell is going on here. Because um, I really enjoy this game and I'm going to try to get to the end with it. And I hope you follow me along for that journey. Even though some of you may have already quit by episode 1. Looking at you, Stuart, you fucking cunt. I know where you live.